In the last several years, the SAT test that high school students take for college admission has come under criticism for not being an accurate reflection of what's being taught in schools. Recently, the College Board, which administers the test, announced some changes that will take place in the 2016 uh, year to address these concerns. At the school committee meeting on Tuesday, February 24th, the Needham High School principal, Dr. Jonathan Pizzi, outlined some of these changes and the reasons behind them. Since its inception and even to date, even with all the, t the changes and the addition of the writing component, uh, component of the SAT, Colleges don't invest as much uh, as they once did en masse in the SAT. One reason for this is that the SAT does not serve as a strong indicator of what is actually being taught in schools. Another is the growth in popularity of the ACT test. The ACT has already overtaken the SAT as the college entrance examination. SAT is more of a regional northeast um, a test. Dr. Pizzi goes on to explain the difference between the SAT one and the ACT tests and why colleges are looking more at the latter when it comes to admission. As you know, the SAT-1 and, and the ACT are very different tests. SAT-1 is a, a reasoning test, um, and, and the uh, ACT is an intelligence test. It tests specific content areas. The ACT it tests college algebra, biology, uh, history, writing, science, things that the SAT does not test. Yet. In order to bring the SAT-1 in line with the ACT, the College Board unveiled some changes in the testing that will be forthcoming. No longer will students be preparing uh, in terms of rote memorization and uh, facts and discrete words. Uh, the, the writing test, test, for example, and the reading test will be more evidence-based. Students will have to read and then apply what they've read. In addition, the writing section will become optional. The math section will stress more real-life skills from percentage calculations and ratios to representative geometry and trigonometry. Wrong answers will no longer be penalized, and scoring will return to the pre-2005 total of 1,600. Dr. Pizzi did note that none of these changes will affect the SAT-2 subject tests. With all of these changes, there also is another direction some colleges are going in, that may affect the number of students that end up taking the tests. Test optional schools, I think, are also becoming more popular with kids and more right. schools are willing to um, accept kids without SAT scores. I'm just wondering if some kids forgo it altogether because the schools they're applying to aren't requiring them. With the new test set to begin in the spring of 2016, some are concerned about the mixed message these changes will send, while others wonder about the unknown factor. Are, are colleges talking about how are they going to look at it that first year? They're not going to really know how to compare it. Um, are, the, are people worried about the results? And are they thinking more, should we take the ACT because it's a known quantity? While Needham High School may eventually offer the ACT test, preparations are now underway for the new SAT-1 test set to begin during the next academic school year. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Josh Eilberg.